Hello, Heavy Metal Men and Masters. I'm Heavy Metal Mum, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I am unboxing a package from Superstitious. I'm super excited. This is totally different to anything that we've ever unboxed on the channel together. So excited. So, before I get to that, remember to like this video, comment down below to discuss any of the things that come up in the video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload, and welcome. So, Superstitious, Zara, my friend, another friend on Facebook, just such a lovely community. I keep meeting all these wonderful small businesses and these amazing makers, it's great. So, Zara has her own business, Superstitious. She makes the most amazing gowns, uh, very sort of medieval style. I'll go into it in a minute. She's given me a little bio about herself. She has recently started making well, like homeware stuff, baking stuff. So her newest line is called Oven Coven. It's amazing. And in here I have some super cool stuff. I can't wait to open it. I've been waiting for these for months. When she initially put a post on Facebook saying would people be interested in this, I was like, yes, yes, send me some. I need to buy some. How much is it? What fabric? Yeah, amazing stuff, amazing stuff. So I'll go through a little bit about her business, show you some of her amazing dresses, etc., and then we'll get to the unboxing. So, I asked Zara about her background, and she said, I started off from a young age just customising my own clothes and gradually taught myself how to make my own clothes from scratch. Frequently attending goth clubs, fantasy events, and festivals gave me the inspiration to create themed outfits for myself. For about 10 years now, I've been running my small business as my on my own as Superstitious, where I now design and make mostly clothing for hand fastenings, fantasy themed weddings and other alternative events. With events and weddings being cancelled this year, I have started my new kitchenware oven coven range, which has proved to be quite popular with people needing more practical items. I take custom orders and can also adapt most of the things shown in my shop. I'm always happy to work with any ideas my customers have and if you want something that's a bit more unique or personal to them, I am happy to help. With my clothing, I make all sizes and it's all made from the individual's measurements. Last orders for Christmas postage will be Friday the 18th of December, which is amazing. Now she's also sent me a discount code we love a discount code here. I love being able to give you guys a discount code. So if you guys want 10% off, then use the code HEAVYMETAL10 at Superstitious. I will put all information on the code and how to get there here. And of course, down in the description box. It's always down in the description box. And once I have a code, it stays in the description box on all my videos. So even if you're not on that particular video, you'll find it down there. Okay, let's get to the bit. I have been desperate to open this. It arrived yesterday, but it was my daughter's birthday and I was just too busy to be able to film. I, I was kind of hoping I could film me baking the birthday cake wearing this stuff, but um, I, it was too stressful. It, it just wouldn't have worked. It would have ended up being a really rushed, angry video. <laughs> so, <laughs> and I wanted to take my time because these things are beautiful. I can already see it. It looks amazing. It looks amazing. Bless her. She messaged me and was like, I'm really sorry I haven't put a note in. My print is broken. I was like, no, save the planet and all that. But the stuff's going to speak for itself. Oh my God. Oh my God. Right. Okay. Here we go. So our oven gloves died. Oh, there's more in here. What is Zara? There's more in here than I ordered. <laughs> So our oven gloves fell to pieces. Well, no, they haven't fallen to pieces. They've kind of gone all, they're so old. And a lot of the places where you actually grab stuff, it's sort of worn through. And the other day, Heavy Metal Hubby threw one of them out in a rage <laughs> because he burnt himself while wearing it. So I was really pleased when she said that she'd posted it. So we've got, oh my God, these are so cool. Oven mitts. She was doing gauntlets, but I am too clumsy to have gauntlets. They're the ones where it's like a pocket at either end and it's attached on a, on a piece. I need full gloves and these are absolutely epic. So they are bat material on one side and then this starry night theme on the other and there's two of them. Oh, they've even got little hooks. Oh, and they've got satin edging. I mean, these are just so much nicer than anything you can buy in the shops. These are absolutely amazing. I love them. And the other thing that I ordered was this amazing apron look at it look at it oh 
I love it. So it is the Starry Night theme on this side and then on the reverse, it's the bat. I love it. I love it. It's got, oh, it's got pockets as well. <gasps> oh, that's fantastic. Cause I always have to take off more of my rings and bracelets <laughs> when, uh, when I'm baking. Cause you know, you don't want to get dough and stuff in, in all the links and things. And so that is fantastic. That means I won't be then going, where have I put my rings? What have I done with them? They'll be in the pocket. <gasps> I love this. This is so cool. It's so beautiful. Oh, look at it now. What else have you put in there, Zara, you naughty, naughty girl? <laughs> we have got oh, an oven square, and look, we've got, oh, it's so cool, there's bats on one side. This is some of the other material that she does, and this really cool Nevermore raven and skull print fabric. I have to admit, I was really torn as to whether to get these or not, but you know me, I'm black and white gal. <laughs> and then, Oh, these are really cool. Oh, I think these are like, I think they're like makeup wipes. Oh no, they're coasters, they're coasters. That's what they are, they're coasters. Oh, they're really cool. Oh, they are really cool. Oh, I love them. We have a pan mat, which is brilliant because I always need more pan mats. It's one of those things that I've got six of them and I still never have enough, <laughs> so, especially when we have people over. Not that that's happening much at the moment, but I like to I like to feed people, so there's a lot of pots and pans normally. And these are really cool little coasters. I love them. And of course, you can just stick them in the washing machine if you spill a drink on them. I like that because it's absorbent. So if you do spill a little, it will just absorb it. Oh, these are fantastic. Oh, I love them. Oh, thank you so much. So yes, you can also get coasters and pan mats on her website as well. I will show you some of the other amazing things that are available. She's just so talented, so many cool, cool things. Um, I mean, so in her oven coven we have the reversible, she calls them an oven mitt, I'd call it a gauntlet. Um, it's the one that you stick both hands in. She's got them in loads of different fabric. We've got the pot holders. She does Harry Potter coasters and Star Wars ones. She does face masks as well and loads of different shaped face masks. She does the ones with the filter pockets in that are folded and then the more shaped ones that go over your nose and then obviously all her amazing beautiful dresses. Absolutely beautiful dresses. So people, of course we have to try these items out, don't we? So join me as we bake some cookies. <laughs> So we are making spiced cinnamon cookies because it's Christmas time and why not? So the first thing we need to do, I need a bowl, but before that, we need to measure out the dry ingredients. So we need 255 grams of plain flour. We need half a teaspoon of cooking soda. Yep, yeah, bicarb. Half a teaspoon. We need half, well, half a teaspoon of salt, but I'm using salted butter, so I'm going to put a quarter of a teaspoon of salt in. That'll do. Two and a half teaspoons of cinnamon. It's a lot of cinnamon. One, two, and a half. Half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Half a teaspoon of ground ginger. And it says a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. I haven't got any cardamom, but I do have some mixed spice, which has cardamom in it. So I'm gonna do half a teaspoon of that instead of a quarter of a teaspoon of cardamom. I have been to three different supermarkets trying to get ground cardamom and cannot get it. So I do have real cardamom, but that is such a pain to open all the pips and crush all the stuff up inside. So I'm just gonna use my mixed spice. Okay, so that's all in the jug. We give it a good stir to mix it thoroughly. Smells like Christmas. There we go. And we pop that to one side. In this bowl, we want 115 grams of butter. Then we also need 150 grams of dark brown sugar. Perfect. <laughs> and 65 grams of white sugar. So with my electric whisk, I'm gonna beat the sugar and the butter together until we have a lovely, smooth, fluffy butter-sugar combination. So as you can see, it's now whipped and light and fluffy. And now we are gonna add 15 grams of molasses in America, or black treacle, as we call it over here. 
Okay, that's it. That's all the molasses you need. Uh, then we need vanilla extract, one teaspoon. And an egg. And then we mix again. Scrape down the edges. And then we add the dry ingredients. Give it another mix. Right, you don't want to mix this too much because you're about to make gluten, so you don't want to over mix it. If you over mix it, it will be tough. You want them to, the gluten to develop, but not to be so tough and stringy. And now I'm going to use my handy pockets because I need to get my hands in there. Let me have a quick dunk. You can never be too clean. So. <laughs> and then look, I sort of press it into the wet to dry. It looks like it's too dry and then all of a sudden it will come together to make this yeah it's already doing it it's a delicious dough and then once that's done it needs to go into a food bag in the fridge for a minimum of two hours maximum of four days so that the it can stiffen up because otherwise they'll spread way too much and then we're gonna bake them so here we go yep let's see now we've got one big lump it smells amazing This recipe is from Sally's Baking Addiction. It is called Stamped Cinnamon Brown Sugar Cookies, but unfortunately I couldn't get a stamp. I tried everywhere. They were all due to be delivered in January, which is kind of pointless when you want Christmas stamps. So I am just gonna make them look pretty myself. But I will try and get some stamps in the new year. I think the problem is everybody's trying to do all these sort of festive bakes. So you can't get the stuff. I suspect in January they'll all be really reduced. So I'll probably pick up a bargain. Right, there we go. Look, one lump of cookie dough. Put the lump of dough in there. Ta-da. And that will now go in the fridge for a couple of hours. I will see you in a few hours. So our cookie dough has been in the fridge for two hours and it is much firmer than it was before. Uh, if you're leaving it for more than about two hours, Sally recommends that you leave it out for about 15 minutes to just soften up a little bit, makes it easier to handle. Now I'm gonna make it into little balls. Uh, I, I weigh them. I will weigh out 28 grams of cookie dough uh, into little balls, put them on, these are cookie sheets, but you can use baking parchment if you have that, and put them in the oven. Uh, at 100, between 160 and 180 for about 11 minutes is normally perfect. I just use a teaspoon. Take a lump off, weigh it. That is way too much. There we go, 28 grams. And I roll it in a ball so it's nice and round like that and put it on my cookie sheet. And then I keep going. You can use a cookie scoop or she says to use, uh, to make a tablespoon of the dough. Experience tells me 28 grams is the sweet spot. So, and as a scientist, I like to be precise. So that has made 24 balls of dough with a, a little bit left for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yum. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh, it really is so good. So Christmassy. Okay, so I've got nine on each baking sheet because you want to spread them out evenly. Oh dear, ah! These um, washable silicone cookie sheets, they do stick to it more. So you don't have to worry about them rolling about quite so much. So I preheat the oven to about 170 degrees C, which I think is 350 Fahrenheit. I don't know, you'd have to Google it. We use the metric because we're British. I need to move my oven shelves. It's terrible. I'm going to have to use my, my new oven gloves. Duh! Right. So I put them one shelf down from the top 
Uh, my oven has five different settings. There we go. And this one underneath. This one will need about a minute more because it's not been at the top. There. There we go. Well, they worked brilliantly. They worked brilliant. I can't wait to see how they behave when the cookies come out. So there are 18 in there now. I have six left. I will put a timer on for 11 minutes. There we go, 11 minutes. And I'll put these ones on after. So I will see you when they are done. It's been 11 minutes. I'm gonna check on these cookies. And if they're done, put them on a wire rack to cool. Well, these oven gloves are brilliant. This is fantastic. Right, one of them is a bit burnt. We have a hot spot in our oven and one of them is a little bit burnt. Yeah, they're definitely set. There. And in go the last six. Well, the cookies look great. When they're cooled down, I'll try one. I am seriously impressed with these. They are quite thin compared to my other one. Please don't judge me how disgusting this is. This is like eight, nine years old. And this is nowhere near as good as this. And yet this is so much thinner. So you've got much better control with it. This is a nightmare and gross. So that is going straight in the bin. <laughs> I love these. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I'm joined here with Heavy Mortar Hubby. As you saw, I baked some cookies. I then cooked our dinner, which the kitchen was way too cluttered to film that. It would, yeah, <laughs> it was. But I made a potato and cauliflower, like Indian bake thing. It's really good. <laughs> which therefore involved a, a big oven tray, a roasting tray in and out of the oven. And I was really impressed. I mean, you wouldn't want to hold on to a hot, roasting tray that's been in the oven for an hour and stand there and hold it for like five minutes i think eventually you would get too hot why well, I, I did a little experiment and i held onto the roasting tray for as long as i could and it was a good what 45 seconds and it yeah, was so, only yeah. on the the seam at the thumb where i was like oh i'm starting to feel it now but it wasn't like i was like oh my god my thumb's burnt or anything you know it was definitely they're definitely better than the ones oh god that, yeah the old ones <laughs> So he was not impressed with those. I think I knew where to wear them, but we were discussing that you've definitely got much better range of the, motion. It's how thin they are. It's because the, the last ones, like, well, they're like standard oven gloves, they're just big and puffy and you can't feel. It was like trying to get anything. something out of the oven with boxing gloves on, the yeah, old ones. Yeah. And they're very standard, you know, I think I bought them in Wilkinson's or something. But these, they're great. I think where it's shaped like this as well, you just get a better hold yeah, on yeah, everything. Yeah. It, yeah really really impressed i love the fact that they're edged with satin as well it just makes them feel a bit more luxurious and the, fact, the fact that you know you can get them on and i can get them on and you know yeah got which, big hands, yeah, you know, yeah we've, there's, know. we've got very different hand sizes you know um the other thing was i went upstairs to grab some washing while the dinner was cooking and i still had the apron on the stars glow in the dark. She's very excited. <laughs> yeah, I, I did shout for him to come upstairs. I was like, oh my God, look, look, look. It was, yeah, that is just a total added bonus. So yeah, if you go for this starry material, it glows in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> Cook by dark. Yes. <laughs> that definitely was like the cherry on top for me. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here are the cookies that I baked. I thought I would uh, show you. They are all cooled now and delicious they really are good as well so yeah i will put that recipe well i'll put a link to the recipe on sally's baking addictions website i warn you though it once you start making her stuff you won't stop i have become very addicted to her it's website called a baking addiction for yeah, a reason yeah everything that i've made everybody has absolutely loved we have a freezer full of cookie dough balls waiting to be baked because they're just so addictive, aren't they? You just can't stop eating them. So I just make up, make a full batch into balls, freeze about two thirds of them and just cook enough for us and maybe one the next day because it's such an addiction. <laughs> so, yeah. But yes, the oven coven range from Superstitious, 
I'm so impressed, so impressed. I, I urge you, go get yourself something for Christmas. Last order date for Christmas postage is the 18th of December. I would try and get in before that though because Royal Mail has been pretty recently. So um, yeah, but I cannot recommend them highly enough. I'm so pleased with everything. I feel like a proper gothy housewife when I'm wearing it. You know? <laughs> So <laughs> when we move and I'll, I want a better kitchen and then I am definitely going to start a second channel with like cooking stuff on because I love to cook and bake our kitchen. As you can see, it just doesn't lend itself to doing a cookery show style video. So if you like this, please remember to give it a big thumbs up. Uh, any questions, pop them down in the comments below. Remember to use that code HEAVYMETAL10 at Superstitious for a 10% discount. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and thank you to all of you that already do hit that notification bell so that you can find out whenever I upload and remember people Stay heavy <laughs> <laughs>